Hey guys, welcome to the second ever Pasnia Segralm Assembly, hosted live here in the Pasnia Committee of Correspondence Telegram, the official chat of the Free Republic. Keep up to date with happenings, just visit t.me forward slash Pasnia chat. For the purposes of transparency and inclusion, it will also be recorded and released on the various Bonnie podcast feeds. But obviously, Telegram is totally public, so as always, please do keep relevant security culture and privacy concerns in mind. Regardless, thank you so much for being here today. This discussion was sparked by the most recent release, TDP number 171, titled Community as an Essence with Rex. A Rex is Pasnia as a project, vision, philosophies, and ideas. Spark further discussion in this chat, uh, which brings us all here today. If you haven't already, make sure to check that episode out. It's at bonniepodcast.com forward slash 171, or you can find it on Fascist Tube or Odyssey. So I'm going to introduce Pasnia real quick for those who may be new. The Free Republic of Pasnia, PAZ, stands for Permanent Autonomous Zones, which are essentially just pockets of freedom where we can you know, be free and have our autonomy. So the idea of Pasnia is a decentralized network of these permanent autonomous zones, uh, whether they're self-sufficient homesteads, safe places for people to city park in a van, and maybe a self-sustainable greenhouse, like uh, what Rex is talking about. Places where we can you know, be free and have our autonomy, that's the, that's the idea. At Current, uh, we just started putting together the map and the directory, which is only for vetted Pasnians. You gotta know who you work with. That's one way to forego a lot of conflict and coercion in the future. For more information, just visit Paznia.com. There's a lot of stuff on there. Paznia.com. Is Let's give Chief about five minutes to just oh. go over oh, sure. we can as start many that different one-liners of different remedies, legal remedies. Mm -hmm. I think it's a okay. good time to go over just a quick five minutes or less. Yeah. Just yeah, let's on do like it. a million different remedies. Sure, I don't know that I can give you a million, but we'll go over a few. <laughs> so. The easiest thing I think would be the entry of appearance or special visitation of the live life air in the nature of the living, breathing man. If you put that in, that has had the effect of outright halting at least multiple cases. And so now I'm going to jump in. So you said put that in. You mean read that whenever you get to court or type it in a document? What do you mean by put that in? So sometimes it's called tendering. Sometimes the court cases like to use the term file, but file means that they can effectively round file it and, and do what they want with it. But if you tender it, remember that all of this is banking, right? So if you're tendering to a bank and remember what tender is, right? So the tender or the currency that your value is given to them is something that they can't deny, right? They have to put that into an account. But a file, that's a different thing. So it's just vocabulary. But if you give it to them, right, however you want to call giving it to them, it's a no more than a three-line page. And that one thing saying, hey, the special visitation by which this live life heir, this man who is living and breathing, is here. I came to special visit this council about this matter. And that has had the effect of outright closing down cases. That's just the first thing. The other thing is, if you ask by what nature and cause is established the territorial and subject matter jurisdiction, that has had the ability to close down multiple cases. So that's another feather in your cap. And then there are a variety of other things that are a little bit more work than that, but not very much. So you can get a name change. On that name change, you can say, hey, look, I understand why you all thought that I was your ward, because after all, I didn't come and tell you that I attained the age of majority. But hey, man, I'm over 18 now. So I have, in fact, attained the age of majority and comma, I'm competent to handle all my affairs, my matters, causes, cases, etc. And by the way, I'm removing the minor disability and honoring scripture. I'm going to make the first my last, my last my first. And that fulfills the scriptural necessity. And that has had the ability to have people see that and close down a case before you even ask for it to be closed. Merely seeing that you have had that correction has been sufficient for multiple cases to be dropped on its face. So the name change is its own kind of mechanism to close that stuff down then you've got when you have a trademark service mark patent copyright all those have a protection in place you can get one of them for your in essence your dna if anything 
that is yours, your image, your likeness, your saliva, your hair, your, your anything that is particular to you. And can you say, have that. Can I say your property? Like we think of properties of atoms and properties of items. We say, oh, the properties of oxygen are its weight. It's okay. And that, when he says DNA, it's like your property. It's a property of you and it's your property. Sure. Absolutely. So that's one mechanism because ultimately they have to have your consent. And if you have lodged that that property is yours on the public record somewhere, then they owe you no different than if you were to go and try to say, you know, Hey, uh, so-and-so is going to try to say that she's a Kardashian. I'm pretty sure the Kardashians are going to want to get reimbursed for that. And when you don't have, whether it's a copyright, trademark, patent, service mark, et cetera, for the Kardashians, they're going to be like, you owe us money. <laughs> but I, I didn't, I didn't think it was harmful. Yeah. We felt harmed. You owe us money. <laughs> so similarly, when you have that established and a cop goes and tries to use your data to make money, and that's what they're doing. They're trying to make money off of you and you have that established, you get to say, uh, pay up. You did harm me. I want money. <laughs> no different, right? So that's one mechanism. A DBA or an assumed name certificate is another very similar to that. It says, I assume this name and this certificate verifies that, especially when you get with it, something called a certificate of good existence of DBA. In essence, not only do I have the right to assume this name, but I certify, or the secretary of state, more importantly, certifies that this is in fact a good DBA. In essence, you've got the DBA itself and the certificate verifying that you had a legit DBA, a valid DBA. That says to anyone that would use your name in court, whether or not you got your patent, copyright, trademark, service mark, or otherwise, that has had the ability to say, look, I assumed that name, you didn't. Where's your DBA? Where's your ANC? I don't see you having one. You, you don't get to use my name without my consent. And so it's a lesser form of protection, admittedly, but it's way cheaper too. You spend 65 bucks at the sex state's office instead of, uh, I think you may spend somewhere between 250 and 450 to get all of your various patent law, copyright, service mark, trademark, etc. So it's a way cheaper form, but it is also fairly effective in, in that despite it being cheaper, you can shut down court cases. So those are all different little nuances that can help you to shut down court cases. There's other things, but the other things are a little bit more lengthy than I think we have in mind here. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank Certainly. you. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I just want to say to people that are listening in and, um, if any of this stuff sounds like too much technology for you, or it doesn't feel right at the moment, I just recommend that you follow your, whatever your internal guidance is, or your guidance from above. If it's not feeling like the right path, then I think that it's kind of like in construction. If you don't feel safe, you're not safe, you know, like you're just run, using a hammer, but like, if you don't feel confident doing that, there might be a reason for not feeling confident doing that. So I just throw that as a caution. Like, don't, don't consider it as so scary. You shouldn't hang around these people that talk about technologies or methods like this, but at the same time, follow your own readiness. And if you don't under understand what you're doing and you don't feel ready to do what you're doing, then it's okay to do other things that feel more natural and more in line with what you can handle and what you can do. So it was, it, I liked his first two methods because they're really simple. I mean, basically you're going to the court, you bring them a piece of paper and it says some words on it and they look at the words and they're like, uh, okay. <laughs> they might ask you questions like, Hey, did you re did you write this? Or they might ask you questions. I've, I've heard another method though. Is, and, and one that I, I think we should employ is instead of going into court and opening your mouth, instead you go into court and you give papers and you keep your mouth as shut as possible. And that way 
there's no additional chances for you to get yourself in trouble. So what that also means is that you could get help to write those documents and submit your paperwork and you would have time to do so if your court was paper to paper through the mail. But if your court is live court hearing, then you don't have as, as much time to engineer your responses. And uh, so then you, you're relying on your skill set in terms of agility and ability and what do they say, how to think on your feet. Like you're, you're relying on a lot of skills that you might not be good at, but you can rely on the skills of a group of people if you're able to do that on your own time, getting, getting advice, getting help. You might put 10 hours into a document and they will throw that document out without telling you if you get to the court and they start asking you, can you tell us a little bit more about what happened? And what they're doing is they're baiting you because once you start producing, providing new information, then everything they had in the past, they don't have to, they don't have to consider it. They say, well, I've got the, I've got the man right here. He's, he's the author. It's like, I go up to a, the author of a, of a film. And instead of me watching the film, which is what they prefer, I'm just like, well, I mean, I've got you here. You, you produced it. Just tell me what the film's about. And they're like, well, it's basically, they give you 50 words. That's not the film. You didn't watch the film. You don't even know it. But you might in your own sense say, well, I mean, I got the gist of the movie. I mean, I talked to the man who wrote it. So I could do the same thing for Shane here. I could say, hey, Shane, tell me what's in your book. And you could give me your best, you know, 30 minute or 30 second elevator, elevator pitch, excuse me. But um, for me to consider that now I've read your book because I heard it from your mouth, came right from the horse's mouth. He was here. He was available. He told me, I, I even asked him, hey, is there anything else I should know about your case? And he was like, well, no, that's just about it. Boom. The judge doesn't have to consider those 10 hours of your effort. But if you go there to court and you just, you're really strict. This is, tr this is trouble. This is the, the tough part. It's a lot easier if you've got help and you're going back and forth through the mail because you can have time to consider and ask for people's opinion before you write it down and send it. But if you're in there in court, what you want to do is if you've written down everything you need to say, then you're just going to say everything I have to say is written in the documents and I have nothing new. I have no new information to bring to the court. So that's, that's all I want to talk to you about court for now and I think we should revisit it.